Hello everybody, David Weeder here, and I want to let you know about something that directly relates to Galatians 6. So turn with me over there, Galatians 6, and starting in verse 7. Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to the flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. And let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Now look at verse 10. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Especially those that are in the family of God. I want to tell you about a, a situation that has come to our attention and I'll explain it and then I'll tell you why I'm doing this video. Recently, we've been made aware of a situation where there is a minister of the gospel who really specializes in uh, boots on the ground ministry where disaster relief and, and things like that are concerned. He was diagnosed with um, a health challenge several years ago and in uh, the process of time particularly in the last year he has been unable to minister or do any type of, of a job or anything like that well we have just come to the knowledge and no they didn't come to us asking us for money and things like that but we did find out that they are on the verge of of losing their home now this minister has four dependent children that are still living at home and he has been unable to make their house payments for the last several months and they are on the verge of losing it now here's the really the, the really the kicker in this situation they only owe eleven thousand dollars we're not gonna let them lose a home over eleven thousand dollars now are we well i was praying about this the day after i found out about it i was praying in the spirit about it and i was just you know basically what was going on in my heart was lord you know bless them get them that money you know that house needs to be paid off and the spirit of the lord spoke up inside of me and he said i want you to pay the house off I want David Weeder Ministries to pay their house off. So I got excited because when the Lord tells you to do something, oh man, let's, let's hook up the wagons and get it done. But then he told me, he said, I want you to give an opportunity through your social media, through your podcast. I want you to give an opportunity for people to sow into this, particularly those who are believing to buy a house or believing to pay off their house he said I want you to give them an opportunity to sow seed into paying off a, a, a minister's home I want you to give them that opportunity that's what this video is about it's obviously because of the situation it's a time-sensitive issue so we're putting it out there we're we're paying off the home it's, it's a done deal, okay? Uh, one way or another, David Weeder Ministries is paying off that home. But here's your opportunity to get involved if the Lord tells you to do so. So inquire of the Lord. Inquire if and how much. And there's a link in the, um, if, you're, if you're watching this on YouTube, there's a link in the comments below. If you're watching this on Facebook, there's a link in the uh, in the status or in the comments below to where you can give into this project and receive a, a tax deductible receipt for your giving 
And so let's get in there and let's get this job get uh, th let's get this job done together for the household of faith. God bless you. We love you. And remember that Jesus is Lord.